الحمد لله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته جسان فيدوبي كوشي تي في جسان فيدوبي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته عليكم السلام 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 ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته عليكم to come to this beloved <coughs> gathering in sight of the mosque and we know as what you know Prophet Salah now saying Majila Sakam fil baiti min biyuti la yatluna kitab Allah wa yatadarasuna wa fima bainahum إلا نزلت عليهم السكينة وغشيتهم الرحمة ونزلت عليهم السكينة وحفتهم الملائكة. Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said people not gathering in the the room of Allah تبارك وتعالى that the masjid to learn from the book of Allah. Teach each other, except the mercy of Allah surrounded them, and the peace and common. We take Allah to our Taala visit this community. We remind you, Allah and His Prophet. We have to hold our deen very well because this is only the way that we can reach to the mercy of Allah Taala. Inna rahmatullahi qaribu min al muslimin. The mercy of Allah is close to those who do good, and the muslimin in reality they are people who watch in Allah the way that Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned Hadith al Jibril. When he came to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and asked him, "Qala akhbirni an al-Islam," he asked him to tell him about Islam, and he said, "Shadu la ilaha illallah, shadu Muhammad Rasulullah, kama salatu ita zakat wa salam Ramadan wa Hajj al-Bayt." When he started to ask about Islam, he said, "When he asked about Islam, he mentioned five pillars of Islam, and he said, 'Is you true. He said truth. And he asked him about Iman. And to me Billahi wa Malaikati wa Kutubi wa Rusuli wa Liyam al Akhir al Qadri Khairihi wa Sharriya Hulmihi wa Murrihi. When he asked about Ihsan, he said, And Ta'bud Allah ka anna ka tara, illam ta kun tara fa inna wa yara. You worship Allah as you seeing him. If you didn't get to that, you worship Allah as He's seeing you. So to be among the Muhsinin, you have to get to these levels. Observing Allah is all your actions. As what Prophet Sallallahu said in the Hadith, in Allah katab al-Ihsan ala kudu shay. Allah make Ihsan obligation in all the actions. So dealing with our brothers and sisters, we have to observe, do it in front of Allah. Doing our ibadah, saying we have to remember that what we saying, we saying in front of Allah Taala, and Allah say wa kulu li nasi osnan. If you talk, you have to say good. As what Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, man kana yuminu billahi wal yomil akhir fal yaqul khairan awli yasmu. If you do believe in Allah on the last day, say good or be quiet. So we have to remember that always. Luqman al Hakim. They sent him one time to go to the market, and somebody asked him, "Go to the market and bring the best thing from the market." When he goes, he bring the tongues. He asked him, "Go bring the the worst things from the market." He bring the tongues. With the tongues, you can read Quran. With the tongues, you can read the Hadith Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. With the tongue, you can mention Allah. That if you mention him, he mention you. Al Kuruni, Al Kurkum, Al Kuruni, Walatakfurun. 
mention me, I mention you. And in Hadith al Qusi, Man zakarani fi nafsihi, zakartuhu fi nafsi. Ana intazani abdibi, ana ma'ahu hina yakuni. Iza zakarani fi nafsihi, zakartuhu fi nafsi. Fain zakarani fi mala'in, zakartuhu fi mala'in khayri min mala'in. I am with my servant. I am with him. He have to think about me, whatever. Whatever he think about me, that's what I do for him. So we have to think good about Allah. We have to think good about our brothers and sisters. Don't judge people. The judgment is with Allah in the day of judgment. Don't judge people for what you think, for what even you think that you know and you does not know. You can know them today and they change. After a moment you see them, they can change. And don't see people, oh, I know him yesterday, he's a bad person. You don't know who he is today. Ibn Arabi Hatimi, he said, if you miss your brother one moment, if you meet him again, you have to respect him because you don't know which level he get after you. What's, what's the level bigger than come from Kufr to Islam? And every day you see people coming from non-believer and embrace Islam. So Muslim also, they can jump in the same days from the maqam of Islam to the maqam of Iman, they can jump from the maqam of Iman to the maqam of Ihsan. Wow. They can jump inside the maqam of Ihsan to get to biggest level in Ihsan. So we have to think good about those. But all this, we take, you mention Allah, you mention him by your tongue. He said that's why it is the best thing. We ask them to bring bad things, he bring tongues because people they curse with the tongues, they deny Allah with the tongues. The tongue is very powerful, it can work for today or for tomorrow or for future. Only time can do that. With your intention, you can work for, for past to change it. You can you can work repentant, your intention can work for tomorrow. Your repentant can work for the last. But your time can work for today or tomorrow or the future. Because a person can say he do, who do he do he do something like that, something some wrong thing yesterday and it's not true. He will do something tomorrow and it's not true. But with near, your near, your intention can work for future. You can have intention to do good for tomorrow. Allah will pay from now. Your repentance can work for the past. The old wrong things that you do in your past day, if you do repentance, Allah will change that to the good. Amen. Allah will change that to the good. Ulaika yubadilullahu sayyatim hasanat. It's not just forgive you, but he will change your wrong things to make it good things. That's why Prophet said, in the last day, Allah will bring a servant, ask him and ask the angel, ask him about his small mistake. Don't even ask him the big. Allah won't forgive him. You do such and such in the such days, he say yes, he can't deny. You do such and such in the such days, he say yes, he can't deny. You do such and such in the such days, he can't deny. So Allah said, change all his mistakes to good things. Allah. That is for the people who have repented. And Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the guy start saying, oh, I do some, of, some mistake that you didn't mention. <laughs> now he wants... Oh, to know all his to, to, to mention all his mistakes because they change it to good <laughs> but those they are the people who have repent who do repentance mm. if you do repentance Allah will forgive you it's not only forgive you but he will change your wrong things to good it's not only that but he will love you mm. Allah Allah love those who make do repentance and those who clarify themselves, clarify your heart from wrong to good, clarify your wrong word to good word, clarify your action to good action, clarify your believer to the wrong to from wrong to good. You believe in Allah and you believe His Prophet, so you get to the point that Allah Himself will love you. Allah mentioned that Allah, in Allah, you have been Allah loves those who fear Allah. Allah loves those who have ihsan. Allah loves those who have who do repentance. Allah will love them. 
So we have to check to our heart all the time to judge ourselves before the, the judgment. You have to judge yourself before Allah judge you. That the judgment will be easy for those who judge themselves. Before you go to your bed, think about your days. What you do, what you say, what is good, you thank Allah for that. And be ready to do better than that. What is wrong, you do repentance and have near not to go back to it. May Allah bless all of you. May Allah protect you. May Allah guide you. May Allah ease your journey to uh, Islam. Assalamu alaikum. Bye.